Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about the two game slate and the LPL. Um, as you guys know, the in the LCK, um, the finals uh, are set between T1 and Gen G. I picked T1 to win the whole thing for for the summer split playoffs in the LCK, um, but that's not happening until Saturday or Sunday. Saturday, I guess U.S. time, Saturday night. So I think. Um, we're going to have to wait until that LCK finals, but that also means that we just have some games in the LPL uh, remaining um, that are going to be best of five. Um, so today and tomorrow, it's a two game, uh, two day, two game slate. Um, the first game is EDG versus LNG. That's going to be playing in the losers bracket, as you can see on the bracket on the screen. Um, whoever wins that matchup will be playing against the loser um of the TES versus JDG matchup. Um so basically the winner of the TES and JDG matchup will advance to the finals and the loser of that matchup between TES and JDG will have one more shot at playing um for the for the for the uh for the spot in the finals. So all of these teams um, are getting second chances. Um, like for for instance, EDG had just come off of a very um, close loss uh, in the series three to two against TES here up here. And then as you guys know, LNG got swept by JDG three to zero, um, which we fully expected. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting to see um, how this all whole thing, you know, has been panning out as, as kind of expected for us. Um, you know, if you have watched my videos previously, you know, we've gotten, we've gotten most of these correctly. I was huge on EDG and EDG almost upset TES, um, in the previous series, but, um, I fully expect EDG to take care of business here against LNG. In my opinion, uh, TES and EDG are the two best teams remaining in the LPL, even over JDG. So we'll see what happens there when EDG plays to get, plays against JDG probably here. Um, so as you guys can tell, that's kind of like based off of my predictions. So let's just dive in, in a deeper analysis, though. So as mentioned, EDG LNG is playing tonight, and I want to show you um, the starters right here. This is the Chinese uh, Weibo website, which is the official website um, that releases these uh, starters. So if you ever want to go there for official starter confirmation, that's where you're supposed to go. Um, EDG is starting JJ again at jungle. Um, JJ has been playing a little bit better ever since he you know, got benched. And then came back in, um, starting in the playoffs. Um, he's looked, like I said, better, but not great. I think he is going to be struggling uh, against Tarzan. Um, Tarzan, actually, for LNG, has been playing pretty well. I think he had a very underwhelming uh, performance against JDG, but JDG has the best jungler, in my opinion, other than Tian for TES. Um, JDG has Kanavi. Um, you know, so I think Tarzan struggled a bit, but um, the most struggle, the biggest struggle for LNG, in my opinion, was in the top lane and also in the bottom lane against JDG. JDG's uh, top laner, um, 369, was so much better than, let's say, Rich was uh, for V5 that LNG just rolled over V5, as you saw um, in that series. And then LNG just got swept by JDG. So I do think... Um, it comes down to whether you think Flandre for EDG in the top lane can battle against Ale for LNG. And I, I fully expect that he can. Flandre is a good player. He's a very solid player. I'd say he and Ale are about, are about the same skill level. Um, so I think that's going to be a wash, in my opinion, which also neutralizes one winning path for LNG. And that's been um, where Ale, you know, gains the lead in the laning phase and kind of snowballs from there and putting map pressure in the top or bottom lane, the solo lane, and then the rest of the team, the four of them, you know, have an advantage and priorities in the lanes and, you know, putting map pressure all over the objectives. So that's kind of how LNG likes to play and wins through Ale. That's one winning path that they've been able to uh, succeed in, but I don't think that's going to be able to, uh, you know, 
but I don't think that's going to be uh, happening against EDG, in my opinion, because Flandre is pretty good. Um, I think he's going to be just doing just fine against Ale. And then um, and Scout versus Doinby, Um, I think that's going to be a pretty close matchup, in my opinion. Um, Scout has been playing pretty well, um, but Doinby, you know, has been playing a lot of different champions, in my opinion. He's been playing more of a utility role. So I think that's gonna be an okay matchup, but I think I think Dwayne B's uh, form recently has been um, getting a lot better, especially when you saw that matchup against Rookie. I think Dwayne B um, did not uh, did not give up a lot of uh, minions or objectives around the object uh, um, around the map. Um, so I think I think that's gonna be a wash. I think Scouts, um, he's been playing a lot of Azir. He's been, he's also been playing more of utility champions, in my opinion. So, um, sorry about the technical difficulty, but yeah, I mentioned Scout versus Doinby. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's gonna be a wash, but I do think the big the biggest difference, in my opinion, is gonna be in the bottom lane, um, where Viper and Mako have been playing as one of the best up bottom duos in the LPL, if not in the world. I think Light had a pretty decent game beating the earlier teams in the playoffs, but as you saw against JDG, I think they, you know, have struggled um against certain you know, good, good A to carry champions um, and the uh, supports uh, in the bottom lane. So I think just the fact that EDG has also been playing really well um, with JJ, that tells me that, um, you know, EDG has been playing well. I think EDG is going to win, in my opinion, um, three to one. Um, I think Ale or Light, um, can carry a game and LNG's winning paths have been mostly tied to light and putting a lot of res allocating a lot of resources into light's hands um but that's the same way how edg likes to win as well um but edg's uh bottom lane is a little a little bit better and viper is a better ad carry than light is so but anyway so let's look at the last couple patches how they've been faring um lng yeah, I mean, EDG's stats are off the charts again. But this is not, I think this is like apples to oranges only because LNG's uh, surprising playoff push and playoff run in the playoffs um, has come the last couple weeks. Um, so really, like from the regular season that we're looking at, it's, you know, EDG's stats are much better. So anyway, long story short, I think EDG is going to win. Three to one. Um, I think Viper is gonna be obviously gonna be the carry for that team. So and then the second matchup on the slate is as mentioned, J T E S and JDG. Um, obviously that's gonna be a very, very amazing matchup to watch. Um, so I'm very, very excited. Well, let's look at the stats between these two teams. They both like to skirmish. They like to fight. Um, JDG likes to fight more, faster team. Um, but top, top esports has a better gold, uh, gold spend percentage difference. And lane control and jungle control percentage. Yeah, I mean, uh, jungle control percentage is about the same. Kanavi has been... Uh, Kanavi has been playing really well. So they're actually up by 0.1%, but that's you know, that's minimal. Um obviously the starters will be confirmed tomorrow, but you know, it should be the same ones as um the last playoff series that they played in. For instance, for top esports, it's gonna be Wayward, Tian, Knight, Jackie Love, and Mark. Um Knight and Jackie Love have been playing really well, and Tian was the MVP of the summer split uh, for the LPL. Um, Wayward, I think, won the Rookie of the Year, maybe, um, for the summer split. Um, let's look at JDG, though. Um, Kanavia Jungle, I mentioned. 369 has been playing well in the top lane. Yagao, Hope, and Missing have been really, really good as well. Um, it's a toss-up, in my opinion. It's a coin flip. Um, I 
I just think LNG was that pretty bad, in my opinion, against JDG. Um, I don't think it was JDG that was like so spectacular that they they beat LNG and swept them. Um, I think top esports beating EDG is more impressive than JDG sweeping um LNG, in my opinion. Um, just given the form that Knight and Jackie Love have been in against Yagao and Hope, I think Hope has been pretty good, but not as good as Jackie Love. I think Jackie Love has been really uh, more consistent than any other season that I've seen out of him. Um, I think Top Esports is on a mission, and I think Wayward um, has shown that he can hold it, hold down the, the, the lane in the top lane. Um, I think Top Esports is going to win, but obviously I'll have exposure to both teams. Um, I think Top Esports will probably win the series 3-1. to one. So that's where um, my prediction is. Um, it could go to three to two. I think it could, could go go to all five games like EDG. But, you know, you've seen JDG kind of explode and implode rather um, and kind of lose and team, you know, and kind of lose two team fights in a row and then they're out of the game already, right? So I've seen that happen a lot here in the summer split. Um, more than often, I mean, they win the team fights and they just snowball from there. That's how they've been winning games. But against top esports, I don't think that's going to be able to. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to have to go with top esports again. So, so for match predictions, yeah, I have ADG winning three to one um, and then top esports winning three to one. Um, but I'll definitely have exposure to JDG and Top Esports. Um, this is probably going to be a faster game between Top Esports and JDG, um, whereas EDG versus LNG here is going to be a slower less and less bloody matchup, in my opinion. So, And like I said, I'll focus on Viper and Light for these two teams that are playing tonight. And then for Top Esports and JDG, um, top, top Esports, you know, it's Knight and Jackie Love. Um, that that should be the focus and JDG it should be Hope and then Kanavi and Jungle um, I think in 369 so those are the key plays that I would target but otherwise um, you know we only have two or three three games left basically in the LPL for the rest of the playoffs um, so we're actually going to come to an end for the LPL and we're going to have some qualifiers happening for the Worlds Tournament and then the worlds um in, in about a month. So we're it's a it's a very exciting time of the year for uh League of Legends fans like myself. So yeah, if you guys ever want to chat about League of Legends or DFS in general, please reach out to me at DFS Chan. Um, you know, I'm also available uh by Discord as well. Um at DFS Chan. And yeah, if you like the video, please please hit the like button below. Um, it would mean a lot um, for me and for True DFS who sponsored this video for me. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate you watching and good luck out there. Um, and, yeah, hope to see you at the top of the leaderboard. Have a good one.